Today, I'm going to try out the Google's new text to image model called Imagine 3. It's like image generator, you know, I M A and G E N gen. gen okay, I don't think I need to explain that. <laughs> our highest quality text to image model so right now you can try this on image effects uh, this is a google's ai kitchen and soon it is also going to be available in gemini so you'll be able to ask gemini to uh, generate the images you can also edit the generated images isn't that cool and you can do that right now without gemini though so for the gemini you'll have to wait so let's let's uh, do a prompt here. I'm going to give it a really simple prompt. A man holding a baseball bat in style. So let's see what we get. We can also define the style like minimal, sketchy and all that. We can also put it in the prompt. So I'm going to go simple. All right. I'm going to click on create and let's see what we get. Oh, OK. Uh, that looks kind of cool. Looks really realistic. Like, I mean, OK. I guess they are finally fixing the human uh, image generation, like especially the human faces. You know, if you try to generate images in Google Gemini right now, I asked it to do the same thing, all right? A man holding a image and all that. So this is what I got. <laughs> and I asked, where is man's face? And in the image I provided, the man's face is not visible. Would you like me to try generating an image where the man's face is clearly visible? And why not? So I said, yes. And it said, image generation of people is coming soon uh, to Gemini. So it's coming soon. And hopefully it is going to be the Imagine 3 model. And we can see uh, images look amazing. So now, there is one more thing that you can do. You can edit these images. Okay. So I'm going to click on this edit image here. Okay. Now it's going to open up the edit mode. Okay. So now let me show you guys something. I'm going to turn this uh, bat into something else. All right. This baseball bat. I'm just going to outline this like that carefully. Now look at this. I'm just going to put a prompt here. Sword. That's all. Okay, and I'm going to click on generate edits. It's it's right here. And uh, this is not a sword. Okay, the first one. Second one. Yep, we got it. Third one. <laughs> it's a sword made of stick. I think, I mean, plank or something. Okay, this one. Maybe it's inside the case, the sword case. I don't know how to uh, say that. We can do more generations. Okay. Uh, no big deal so basically you can edit the images it's it's really cool so now what i want to do is actually go even further i'm going to try to edit his eyes you know what i'm going to put here sharingan eyes i don't know why i just want to see if this works <laughs> uh okay so let's take a look at this one this looks like more of a byakugan okay uh okay <laughs> no it it messed up oh okay we have fire eyes but not the sharing gun okay maybe maybe it can't do what i'm thinking right now all right <laughs> it can't do that but we can edit that's the point okay sometime it is going to be good sometime it's going to be really bad it, it'll give you four different options okay so that's that's kind of cool maybe this guy doesn't know what sharing gun is so let's edit this one i'm gonna go even further okay now basically i'm trying to change the background this is the prompt let's go with it oh that's that's kind of cool <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i mean i have already messed up with this picture uh, uh the eyes and the sword okay it even extended the sword now you can see it works and it also understands almost like what to erase and not when you edit the images okay let's take a look at the another one yeah this one also looks cool i mean th the background isn't matching with the picture itself because i mean they are totally different thing but yeah <laughs> you can do almost everything here i mean uh, yeah i like it okay let's let's generate something else now okay look at that you can also make cool arts wow this is this is sick you know 
Look at that. This one is also really cool. Uh, I don't ask for the camera, but it's 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 taking the picture of a picture. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can get rid of that uh, with edit. Like, you know, it's going to be really simple and easy. Look at that. Almost everything is perfect here. Wow. <laughs> I like this. Really cool. It's not the lion that I'm expecting. I mean, it's it shouldn't be a lion. You know, saber tooth. Uh, is it a lion or a tiger? Like, you know, have you seen the Ice Age movie? I don't know. But uh, yeah, okay. It's somewhat close, I guess. <laughs> okay. If you really like image that you generated and has some flaws, you can try to edit the images and make it perfect and all that. Uh, and the image quality is also quite good actually. Uh, it's uh, 1024 by 1024 pixels and you can use some other, uh, you know, AI to expand the images and, you know, all that. So I don't have to explain that. But yeah, uh, I mean, finally, Google's text to image AI can generate uh, human images. And yeah, it's it's actually pretty good and soon it's going to be available in uh, Gemini too so you don't have to use this image FX or AI test kitchen <laughs> but for now if you want to try this this is the only one way yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah I'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye